Okay. This is Carly reading you How to Put Your Parents to Bed by Melissa and Lee, illustrated by Bob Betty Cole. I know you are not tired. There's the cat saying she's not tired. You could scale a tall tower. You could sail the savage seas. You could paint a masterpiece. She made a tower of chairs and tables. And she was in the bathtub pretending there was a boat. And she drawed on the wall. It's bedtime, but the but bed is the last place you want to be. Adventures are out there waiting, but have you looked at your parents? There's the cat looking this way at parents. Right there over. Just some. There's the dad and there's the mom. Poor things. Just between you and me, they are not looking their best. They need to go to bed. Parents are not good at going to bed. I have to put it in a load of laundry, they say. I need to do the dishes. Just one more email. Here's the mom doing dishes. The dad doing his computer. It's just one excuse after another with them. You need to take charge. Take the plate out of the hands. Jump. Close the computer. Tell them it's time for bed. Start with brushing teeth. They'll argue. They'll say they'll do it later. Squeeze out the toothpaste and get them brushing. You're like, no, we'll do it later. And she's like, no, you'll do it now. She's brushing. She's brushing her. Hope them if you can. Those bat molars can be hard to reach. Let's to get some pajamas. You will be amazed how long this takes. Parents get distracted by the smallest things. He's on his phone. Phones, magazines, TV, the cats, all that. And she's distracted by the TV. Be patient. Keep them moving toward the bed. If you let them sit down, they will fall asleep anywhere. So she'd fall asleep. And she'd fall asleep on the floor. Sleeping parents are extremely, extremely hard to move. Some of them even, some of them snore. Now some parents can be unruly when faced. With an, with actual Jane in bed, teeny things upset them, so she's jumping. They can work themselves into a state. And he's jumping on the bed. Remain calm. Do not neglect. It's time for bed. The next part is tricky stories. Parents love stories at bedtime, but they can get, but they can get set in their ways. They must insist on only hearing their favorites. If they are used, used to three stories, they want three stories. No, two. Not one, no surprises. You would think at this point you are almost there. That your parents are in bed, teeth brushed, pajamas on, stories read. But this is when something unexpected always comes up. Their favorite pillow is missing. They want to check on the dog. Their thoughts itch. And she's like, Where's my pillow? And uh, you want 
started on the dot. And he like, oh, I said, that's Richie. <laughs> Tell them that this is almost over. So now they're pillow fighting. Cat's like, huh? And the dog's like, huh? Handle each accident calmly. So she is playing the feathers back in the pillow. She is looking at those. Mouse up down the sock. She put the god to sleep. Tuck them in, kiss them tonight. Remind your parents that they are not making phone calls when you leave the room. Better take their cell phones. Yeah. Close the door, listen to make sure they're quiet. So. They are asleep. Take a bow. You have God and your parents off to bed. Now you can finally enjoy some time to yourself. It's like she's dancing, the cat's dancing. Now she's really tired and fell asleep in the chair. There's a mess. But between you and me, you are not looking your best. You look exhausted. So then, everything's been done. Maybe you need to go to bed too. So that was how to put parents to bed. Tune in next time to hear me sing. Okay, no songs.